Hello friends and welcome back to SDM classes. Here I am once again with another video and this video is about how to learn the short trick to learn the features of chordates and vertebrates. Also we can learn from this video how to differentiate between chordates and vertebrates. So let us begin with it. The shortcut for chordate is do not pinch people. So with the first word do, we have to remember that all chordates have dorsal hollow no chord do tells us the first feature of chordate dorsal hollow nerve chord not tells us that all chordates have noto chord during any stage of their development then the word pinch P and N will remind you of pharyngeal slits. So all chordates have pharyngeal slits. And people, the last word is people. So with this P, we have to remember that they have post anal tail okay so these are the four basic features that all chordates will have dorsal hollow nerve cord notochord pharyngeal slits and post anal tail and the shortcut to learn all these four features is do not pinch people from these four features we will now drive out the four basic features of vertebrates. So in case of vertebrates, the short form is get CCTV. The first word get is for pharyngeal slits. That means the pharyngeal slits that were present in chordates, they now get converted either into gills G is for gills or ear and tonsils. E and T is for ear and tonsils. Okay, so these pharyngeal gill slits in the later stages of development they will either get converted into gills like in fishes or into ear and tonsils like in other various other organisms amphibia reptilia aves and mammalia okay then c c t v with the first c we have to remember c n s we all know the full form of cns that is central nervous system this dorsal hollow nerve cord which was present in chordates gets converted in its later developmental stages into central nervous system and we all know that central nervous system comprises of brain and the spinal cord okay then the notochord the second c tells us column which column vertebral column okay so notochord that is present in chordates in later stages of development gets developed into vertebral column okay so with the c we have to remember column c first c was for cns second c for column then t v t is used for tail 
The post anal tail was present in caudates also, and in some vertebrates also the tail is present. Like for example, in fishes, reptiles, and birds, it is used for balance, coating, or signaling. Balancing, or coating, or signaling. The tail is used. Whereas, V is, it is vestigial in humans. Okay, so please remember that in birds, reptiles, and fishes, the tail is used for balancing, coating, and signaling. Whereas, this tail is vestigial in humans. Vestigial means it is reduced in size and it is non-functional. That is in the case of humans. Alright, so you saw from the features of caudates, we have drive out the features of vertebrate and the short form also we have learned. So with the help of the short form, we can learn we can elaborate the features of caudates and vertebrate. Do not pinch people is for dorsal hollow nerve cord. Do not notochord. Pinch pharyngeal slits. People post anal tail. These are features of caudates. And get CCTV. Get is that pharyngeal slits present in caudates get converted to gills or ear and tonsils. First C is for CNS, central nervous system. Second C, vertebral column. The notochord is converted to vertebral column. And T, V. T is for tail. V is vestigial. That means tail is present in some vertebrates, whereas it is vestigial in humans. Friends, if you find that my video was informative for you, please click on like and subscribe for my channel. Thanks for watching the video.